I oh no, you don't not you don't need one though. You know, but from from Watchmen. <laughs> right? So true. Yeah. So true. <laughs> All right, Bob one. Dylan from Watchmen. <laughs> yeah, from Watchmen. You see his comics. Okay. All right, Poseidon. I am a fan. We're, you know, eight seconds in. Look at that. Yup. And the needles on center yep. stage to get that hit lag extension. Exactly. And exactly. to keep the pressure, find, tries to look for the JC. I was wondering, you can tell Poseidon is locked in on this oh, matchup yeah. really, AG. Definitely, definitely. Really, oh my god. I was going to say, really great presence of mind to stay on that platform. Martha can't really dash in if those needles are in the way. And then a great punish game, too. But hold on now. Zangarang, big damage. Okay, I love that shield pressure back here. Double back on weekend gets it down air. L cancel that is yeah. so hard to time if you aren't explicitly used to it. The slight miss spacing from Zangarang though, oh, is going to create the pressure. You can tell the way though he is perfectly pl playing around this platform to really force Poseidon to stay in the corner. He does not have anywhere to go. Gets caught on the ledge though, and that's going to give Poseidon at least one more chance. But the overextension is going to swing things back around once again. And AG, these two are going back and yeah. forth, movement, defense, and offense combined. This is so interesting because Zangarang also playing with like a fire. I, I don't know if it was like, you know, the change in opponent, maybe just some more confidence on Pokemon Stadium here. That worked out somehow, I don't know. But forward air here should be a big opportunity here. Needles into the ledge wrap. Beautiful, beautiful edge guard from Poseidon. And very smart to recognize the spacing, timing, and awareness of that, right? A lot of Sheiks will try to reset, find a second or third needles there before going for it. But Poseidon Ooh. says, I can get it off the one. Looks really up tilt, but instead, again, it's that slight overextension. He has been playing so locked in on these advantage states and on getting the right hits, but it's this slight overextension that are punishing him. Even there, though, it doesn't matter if you overextend if it's actually a bait for a, a frame track. Yeah, so smart. I also really I want to shout out that crouch on that small lip to get the up tilt in, for that neutral win before. This is so, so Finds sick. A, what the, the crab reset again. Chat, uh, I know we're supposed to be unbiased as commentators, but AG and I are both sheep players, uh, and, yeah. and there's only so okay. much you can do when someone's playing the matchup like this. Yeah, yeah. It's Real by the book. I didn't get to really go into the whole, uh, okay, that's crazy. Marth grab, very good. But right. also, use the needle rangers to find these, like, frame traps and tech shape, like, like checkmate scenarios right. into an advantage state off platform have been so smart from Poseidon. Okay, but, you know, Zangarang really finding a way around the needles a lot more effectively, evens it right back up. And it's so interesting, like, Poseidon has a lot of momentum in some of these advantage situations, but Zangarang just gets a couple of hits, and they're great hits. He evens it right back up. Yeah, and the DI up and away there to not get put in the platform. Wow. Tech Chase, again, that's what we're talking about. These slight overextensions from Poseidon pull all the momentum. He finds a way to gain. You can't swing there or go for a second Dolphin Slash because of that needle on ledge, and that means that Poseidon gets to reset the scenario. You do have Zangarang in the corner, but you're actually the one in disadvantage. Wow. Zangarang is going to capitalize. TP to the corner, the transformation, meaning the platforms go away, means she has nowhere to go back to the ledge, and that's exactly where Mars wants you. Okay, interesting transformation here. Gonna get the up air to kind of ignore most of the transformation, but this is like a really good setup for Marth over here on the left. Yeah, you just don't with the extra large, uh, extra ledge. Wow. Okay, somehow it finds a forward air. If you just stay down there, yeah, yeah, you, you literally, as Marth, can just say, "We're gonna wait the transformation out." You could even just like dolphin slash from ledge to ledge. It's like, oh, okay, yep. interesting. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? It gives up the ledge. That dolphin slash should do it. One stock apiece. Crowd waking up 33% is nothing. That's why you give up the ledge, AG. It's yeah. to bait them up high so the <laughs> Dolphin Slash can reach for the skies. Just like that down air. air unfortunately, not finding his mark, but again, it's the needles throwing off the timing, messing up the wave dash. Even still, it's not going to be enough to find the advantage. They, hey, Zangarang has played so disciplined out of a lot of these defensive scenarios, but it may not be enough. Misses the Marth Killer, somehow finds a way out of dodge and barely holding on. Zangarang is pushing himself to the limits here. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Marth Killer, though, in that situation is so good because even if you, you know, quote-unquote, miss it and Marth makes it back, you just have time to down air up air like we saw right there, and then it just kind of happens on the other side of the stage, too. Great game. Poseidon coming in with a lot of confidence. Despite not playing on the stream, still looks right at home. And Zangarang even, I, like, you know, going down a game still looked way more confident. I don't know if, like, you know, the sort of, uh, you know, further along in bracket matches are a little more inspiring, but, like, playing with a reignited fire. Messing up the shield drop once, twice, three times there, and it's going to eat a lot of percent. However, the jab off the... Oh, that was yeah. clean. That was... I got nothing else to say, but that was clean. That was kind of clean. Nice zero to death. I am loving what we're seeing right now. 
Needles are so good on the platforms. Perfect Shield is a good way to interrupt them, but it's so hard to time consistently. Remember, though, the, the other opponent on the other side here is Triff, and if you're Triff, you are very excited to see Poseidon up yes. 1-0 right now. Yes, because you have to, you are either playing your best matchup or your worst matchup, and there's really no in-between. Ooh, okay. Really good pressure on the platforms there, up tilt. Kind of baits out that jump away, which is really smart, but good stuff from Zangrain fighting back. That Nair, though, a little misspaced. And then what a response here. The forward air into the needles should do it. Yeah. I was gonna say the classic, the classic floaty kill confirmed. Down throw forward air. See you later. D don't pass go. Don't get to interact. And now 30% slight DI behind is the way you get out, but she does have that guaranteed follow up, so gonna find it. But dropping it a little soon, right? This is something we're seeing more and more from besides the sets go on is some weird drop. But here on Yoshi's, I mean, listen, weird drops lead into some creative things nonetheless. And uh, Randall. Randall said, don't die, and <laughs> Zhang Rang said, I don't care. Yeah, I don't know. Get out of here. Do not care what Randall has to say. Going back to it, I love that. The needles help so much in that situation. It's going to be a nice trade for Poseidon. Three stocks to one. Yoshi's may not have been the pick. I don't know. It feels like those platforms and the spacing has kind of been working out for Poseidon here. Finding the forward air there into the dash attack. Very non-traditional sheet combo. We get back there getting cooking as well. Oh my god, this pressure is just That's immense, it. and there is no escaping as Poseidon, he felt like it started close, but he just ran away with that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Zagorak on the back foot, trying to find some way out, barely finding that way out, and then Poseidon saying, well, don't worry, I'm actually here too. Like the tech chase right there, right? Wait. Even though the down air didn't connect, you're stuck in shield. How do you get out of shield? You jump, you get hit with the air to air. And, and the reverse like, jab there, cross up on to find the shield poke, it's just like, who goes for that? Right, like, right. even top level sheiks, you just don't see look for that. And I'm gonna be real, there's a lot of cool moves sheik has. A lot of people probably think the coolest one is down air or needles or weak hit, like up air or something. I think sheik's coolest move is jab because it's just so versatile in the ways you use it and the ways you find your extensions off like your and I, no impact lands or, or other things, right? It, 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 it opens up so much for this character if you just like understand where to creatively sneak it in. Mm -hmm. I think it's needles. That's fair. Good move. I think we saw a pretty solid display of it too in that match. The platform needles into like, you know, like cancel needles. It just like cuts off exactly where Marth wants to dash in to kind of break that center stage sort of stalemate that is usually there. Great stuff. Who would have thought a really tiny metal blade that you can throw mm -hmm. is actually better than a big giant sword you can swing around? I guess, yeah, you probably wouldn't guess that. Yeah, because normally, in, in real life, if someone throws a needle at me, I'm I'd, be be like, able, I'm, I'd be inconvenienced, I think. Well, you, you might, I mean, you might be inconvenienced, which to be fair is what happens in Melee as well, right. but yeah. as someone who, who is actually trained with a sword... If someone uh, threw a sword at me? Yeah, well, but also I'm saying like, you can swat just like Marth swings his sword. Oh, true. You can yeah, absolutely you can swat, swat those needles away if you are trained to do so. I don't. Do you think Marth is trained to do that? I mean, he's he's been fighting Isn't Sheik he for royalty twenty some though? odd years though. Oh, true. How, yeah, yeah. Right. Like Marth at this point, he's got to figure should it be out. Trained, yeah. Marth, the Fire Emblem character. I don't know if he actually does anything. He he looks pretty. And he Fire sure Emblem does, yeah. Do, what does he do in Fire yeah. Emblem, John Numbers? Bro leads the entire army. I was gonna say he is like the, the most front famous. Line. Okay, okay, but is he like one of those like generals who like shows up? No, he's at then... the front lines all the time. He is. He's not just a general. Mm. He's generally he is a general. Just one. I that thought he is was not... a hero king. Now you're telling me he's a general too. How many titles? He does earned he have? that title after winning the war. He won. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give it up. Of course, he 